Hello and welcome to my first ever unboxing. I am Trifle Fingers and this is a Secret Labs Titan Joker Special Edition chair. Let's get started. So, disclaimer, I already started unboxing this and then I realised, hey, why not do an unboxing? To be fair, there was more to it than that. Essentially, Apparently, one of the things you can do with these chairs is get a three years extra warranty by posting to social media. And that's kind of what triggered my idea. Because here's the thing, what does the internet like to do with boxes? There's two things. There is one, put cats in them. I don't know, I can't. Sorry, I can't do that. But what I can do is I can unbox something. So here we are doing it. So let's get started. Um, and as I say, I did cheat a little bit. So, but I'll show you this initially. So. Secret Lab Joker Edition, boom, open. Big pictures on the front, says do not touch backrest while uh, backrest recline lever while removing from box and until backrest is securely installed. So there must be something there. So then we open this. Big old sheet here. Congratulations, you are now the owner of a brand new Secret Labs chair. Let's put that up close. Boom, boom. And on the back side, is the full assembly guide and pictures. There is also a video apparently, if you uh, use that code or whatever or the website to look at it. So I'm just gonna stick this there uh, just to make sure the contents are all in. Now, I say I cheated a little bit because I started opening this. This is the like package of like aftercare instructions and um, warranty. I'm assuming there's a warranty instruction there on how to get the extra five years. So I'll look at that in a minute. Um, normally, so it's got all this great packaging here, which is fine. So the back of the chair was in there, and it's now here. Because I took this out and then went, let's do the boxing. So that's why this is kind of all that's backwards. Okay, so I don't know if that's how visible that is, but in a big cellophane bag wrapper with Joker on the front and. Joker and purple and green and gold, etc. on there. So I'm not going to unwrap it yet because the instruction says specifically um, check all the contents there before unwrapping or trying to put it all together. So, bottom level, here we go. Um, okay, so we have the The uh, star thing for the wheels and everything, again, in its own bag, which is fine and great. We'll put that there. We have loads more packaging. Um, oh, this is the, um, the free, free um, lumbar uh, back rest head pillow thing you get with it. It says free, but realistically. It's not free, it is part of including the cost, but it's a costly chair. So I think I got it um, like 300 quid. That's like normally this chair is like 400 quid plus. I bought it from a pre order stage, um, at like just under 400. So I think I got like 50 pounds cheaper than I last looked on the website. So I don't know what pricing model they have for these things. Um, it's the medium chair. So um, more packaging here. So there's um, Titan, Titan XL, and Omega is the bottom level. Titan XL is a big one. I don't need a huge chair because I'm not. I'm a big guy, but I'm not that big. Um, so I bought the middle one. Um, side note. Um, interestingly enough, it was marked for delivery by 18th of December. Um, only because of COVID and everything to get noticed that we pushed back and then it ended up being like delivery promised by 20th of Feb and then I got a notice yesterday on the 1st of December that it was going to be delivered today which is the 3rd of December so it's even it's met it's a, they met their original delivery promise even with all the COVID stuff so I'm pretty chuffed about that so we have I don't know what that is Okay, well let's uh, okay. Let's do this one first. Let's do the base. It says 
do not touch the levers, so I'll lift it from the back and the front. Yeah, oh, the arms are attached to that. That's so, that's got a bit of nice weight to it. Let's sit that there. Um, where are the levers on this? Are they on this side? Yeah, that's it there. There's like a cardboard cover of it. I thought you can see that. So that's where the lever is there, so don't touch. So we can't touch that until it's all put together. Um, okay, so, and inside the box, I don't know if you can see, it's fairly well, like all this, thick, like, uncompressed. It, it compresses a little bit, but it's very firm foam, so like, it came in really good packaging. Um, Here's the Super Lab accessories box. I'll check that out in a minute. Um, just to check that the contents have been successfully, like nothing's been missed out. And we have what I'm assuming is the, uh, is the under chair fixings for the mechanism. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so basically that's your adjustment switches and hinge and everything for the middle so I'll just put that there for a sec and that is everything that's in the box so um, if we check this uh, chair backrest yeah, seat base yet yeah, wheel base yet yeah. uh, two arm rest pre-installed yet yeah. head pillow tilt mechanism um, don't get the lumbar pillow because that's the bottom level anyway because it's built into the back on this one I believe and the accessories box so let's just double check we've got everything in the accessories box because it said make sure you've got all the bits before you start assembling there we go okay so contents description on the top I don't know if you can see that we'll put it, put it there see if it works any better a bit of an increase so um so we have a foam tray of caster wheels and side covers um five caster wheels uh there's two tilted rounds are they what the side covers are magnetic side covers right okay so that's fine they're all there that's good and then we have, oh, we got the Secret Labs Toolkit. Um, we've got the yes, yeah, so that's Toolkit. Uh, Long Allen key, magnetic screwdriver handle, and reversible Phillips and hex screw bits. Um, and it's got the. Um, this is eight spring washers. Oh yeah, there's eight washers, there's two on each of those four bolts. Uh, four L and eight screws, yeah. Tilt lever handles are in there. Uh, magnetic side uh, tilt lever handles. And that's the hydraulic piston I'm assuming. Yeah, so looks like we've got everything. So now, time to build. I am, uh, I'm not going to worry about um, talking through the build, so probably time lapse that. So if it's a time lapse, boom, we're kicking into it now. <laughs> I just this was my lunch hour, so I've got to get back to work. Working home like most of the world is these days. So we'll cut here 
And once I've finished work, I'll, I'll do a bit of review on how it's been for the afternoon because I fully want to use this rather than spin, just spin around on it for 10 minutes. So I'll tell you what it was like after the intermission. Hello and welcome to my review of the Secret Labs Titan Joker chair, which cost me a lot of money. Um, first things first, as a little review, disclaimer, I have no idea if the things I'm about to say are because this chair is good or if it's just because my old chair was really bad and I just needed a new chair. Okay. The cushions are pretty firm. Um, initially, wasn't sure whether I liked it or not, but after sitting in it the afternoon, it's actually been surprisingly comfortable for the afternoon. The reason why I say surprisingly is because it cost enough money that it should be good and not surprising. But I think because initially, how firm it was, it surprised me. It's got all sorts of like, it's got the functionality, it's got like a pretty chunky sort of recline, you know, uh, with a spring in it. Um, it's got a elevator function. Elevator, I don't know what we call it. And it's got your tilt um, from the base as well. Um, arms can go up to down, can go splayed or not. And there's another one here which seems to go in and out. Like that as well. So, nice and wide. Um, the design. Love the design. This is the uh, this is the um, headrest action, by the way, as strapped on there. It's just a plastic strap, but it keeps everyone good. Um, now, the other thing is, is that comparatively, I feel like I'm sitting in a throne compared to my old chair, which feels like a kiddie chair now I'm sitting in this. And um, what I'm really liking is the fact that as high as my chair used to go, it's about as low as this chair can go. So it's pretty good size for for me. Like this is the tallest. And my toes are still, my toes are just touching the floor. So if I was going to um, bring it down, probably about there would be about the right thing for me. So all in all, I like it. I think it's good. Whether it's be fully worth the money, well, time will tell for the back support and how useful it is and how long it lasts. But obviously, how long I'm going to take care of it. So that's it. This was a Secret Labs chair. I was Tribal Fingers, and that's my opinion. Goodbye.